When Avixa came up with the Discus standard, display image size for content for two-dimensional audiovisual installations, we really had to look at the idea of resolution. Back in the old days, TVs didn't have different resolutions, right? If you, you had a CRT with a uh, three by four by five um, aspect ratio, it had scanning lines and the resolution was about the same for all of them. It translated to about 480 lines of resolution. But today you have 1080p, 2160p, we're talking about 8K. Uh, as we get different aspect ratios, things are going to change a little bit. We really have to kind of look at the resolution that's on the screen. What Avixa did to create Discus was they piggybacked it on something called projected image system contrast ratio. Now this came out back a little over a decade ago and basically talked about what does the contrast ratio, the difference between the brightest whites and the darkest blacks on a screen, what does that have to be so that you can see the detail in a projected system? And when they created this standard, they came up with four viewing categories. These are passive viewing. Passive viewing is kind of, I don't know, a talking lamp in the corner of a space. Imagine an end cap in a grocery store where they're talking about a new spaghetti sauce. That little screen that's going to be on the end cap, that would be passive viewing. If it's of interest to you, you will approach it and pay attention to it. Otherwise, it's just their playing of its own accord. We can't have that in a classroom or a meeting room. In a classroom or a meeting room, it is all about basic decision making. Can we get the information we need to make a good decision? Is what we see there legible? Can we understand it? Or are we overwhelmed by a gray wall of numbers and you can't make out any of the individual numbers? If we look at the requirements for basic decision making, it makes sure that everybody in the room can read what's on that screen. For the most sophisticated of audiovisual installations, we step up to analytic decision making. This is where we're concerned with pixel level detail. In this instance, what we want to be able to see is everything that the human eye could see if you were in that space itself. So we want to be able to see everything that's possible. For example, if we were doing medical imaging or if we were doing scientific imaging, if we were looking at a star map or an x-ray, if we're looking at a topographical map, or if we're looking at um, the outline of the circuitry for an integrated circuit chip. This is the sort of thing we'd be doing in analytic decision making. Analytic decision making, less than 10% of all of the commercial AV installations. Basic decision making, that's the other 90%. That's what we're doing day to day. It's all about legibility. The fourth category is called full motion video. Now, this might be something like a commercial theater or perhaps a corporate screening room or another space, even a high-end home theater. That's even a little bit more demanding, less so in terms of resolution, but more so in terms of how we deal with uh, frame rate and how we deal with dynamic range. For the exercise for Discus, we deal only with basic decision-making and analytic decision-making.